Hi guys, so as we know, back in 2019, Boris Johnson ran a campaign on the premise of getting Brexit done. So he promised that if you voted for him back in 2019, he would get Brexit done. Now, following that, he has said on numerous occasions that he got Brexit done or his party got Brexit done. And his acolytes, both in and outside of Parliament, have said that Boris Johnson's greatest achievement was, including others, getting Brexit done. Now, his replacement or someone who's seeking to replace him, Penny Mordaunt, well, she wants to continue to use Brexit as a political tool. So she's describing how she's going to get Brexit redone and put more pounds in people's pockets if made Prime Minister. As this is from an article in The Sun, there's no need to go into the article. Um, you don't really get anything different here. But what she's trying to do is say that, well, Brexit is a success but some people are not feeling that success and what she would do if she became prime minister she would spread the benefits all over the country including northern ireland it seems now you have to remember northern ireland has the northern Ireland protocol which is mitigating against the worst of brexit it's protecting northern ireland from some of the the major damage that's caused by leaving the European Union in, and in particular leaving the single market and the customs union, Northern Ireland's position is unique where it has access to both the European single market and the UK internal market. And we have seen examples of businesses moving to Northern Ireland to take advantage of that situation. But how do you redo Brexit? Now, if you redo something, you have to admit that it is not working. So is this a Brexiteer, she is a Brexiteer, claiming that, well, Brexit isn't working? Well, she, as I said, she is trying to sell the idea that, yes, it, it is working, but not benefiting everyone. And she wants uh, to sell the idea that she can redo Brexit. She can make a better Brexit if you vote for her. Once again, I thought Brexit was done. How can you be redoing it if everything is complete? Obviously, it's not complete. Uh, we're only at the very beginning of Brexit. It's going to get much worse and they need to find a scapegoat. You need to blame somebody, blame the Remainers or blame the European Union. But things are not going to get better until the UK rejoins the single market and the customs union and then therefore rejoins the European Union. You're not going to redo Brexit this way. The only way of fixing the problem is to undo Brexit, not redo it. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.